Uh, as you can see, we are in the car, which means we are off on another adventure. So super fun. Yep. We're going to go apple picking. So exactly this time last year, we went apple picking. I'm going to post a link to that down below because it is in a different place than what we're going th to this time. Yep. This time, uh, last year, we went to County Line Orchard in Hobart, Indiana. This time, we're going to stay inside Illinois, and we are going to go to, what's the name of this place? Slade's Farm and Market. Yes. Slade's? Yeah, yeah. Slade's yeah, Slade's Farm and Market. Uh, and we're going to have a good time. It just started to rain. It just started to rain, so we're going to have to try to figure this one out and how it's going to work. Uh, so hopefully, it won't be raining next time you see us. <laughs> All right. We made it to Stades Farm Market, not Slade's. Don't listen to me. Stades. <laughs> Somebody does not know how to speak. So here we are at Stades Farm Market. Let's head in. Let's go pick some apples on this very chilly October day. Yep. Fall Yay. is here. Yay! <laughs> we got our little guy with us today, wearing his mask, just like us. So here at Stades, they also have something called they call farm tractions, which are like farm attractions. And they have like slides and a bunch of other stuff for the kids. But right now, as you can see, the sign in the background says due to the pandemic right now, it is shut down. So this is as close as we're going to get right now. And if any of you ever traveled with small children who are still potty training, you'll know that the very first stop that you make anywhere is going to be at the bathroom. For right now, uh, they don't have any indoor bathrooms, so the bathrooms are porta potties that are just out front and to the sides of the actual Stades Farm barn. So there's a market right there, and directly in front of me, over here, um, is one set of porta potties. So, oh. cute place. Huh. First thing my husband finds, I'm gonna guarantee is barbecue sauce. Is it barbecue sauce? Yeah, it's barbecue sauce. Yeah, it's barbecue sauce. I have a maple, original, Garlic, bacon. bacon, teriyaki, ghost. That's ghost pepper. Ooh, Townsend cattle and meats. Well, these are not terrible prices either. I mean, they're not great prices either, but they're not terrible. This is, this is what they got, and this is their price list for Townsend Cattle and Meats, which is from McHenry, Illinois, which is right here. <laughs> this is from Stades. Interesting. Bagels. Ooh, homemade dillies. Those look good. They are six seventy-five. That's not terrible. They got bread and butter. Sweet relish, gross. Oh my gosh, I would show this to my family. We make chow chow. And there's a lot of people in Michigan who are like, what is chow chow? Chow chow is that? Although our chow chow has to be with, uh, we do it with green tomatoes. What'd you find? Uh, garlic pepper. Ooh, garlic pepper? Yeah, good for steaks. Well, yeah. They got a bunch of stuff here, soup mix-ins. Cornbread mixins, lots of salsas, canned goods, the stuff you'd expect to find at like a farmer's market. Uh, different pie fillings right here. Strawberry rhubarb pie filling, cherry cobbler mix, three berry pie filling. I said pie, that's right, you heard it right. Got some baked goods. And all the donuts are by the cashier, so we'll get some on the way out. Ooh, they got some like little pies. If you don't want like a, a gigantic big one over here, they got little ones. Hey baby, they got little pumpkin pies. Oh, they got take and bakes too. Okay. They are all, for the larger ones, it's like between 11 and $13. For the smaller ones, it's $5.75. Not too shabby. Oh yes, this is, this is my jam right here, all the butters. So apple butter, pumpkin butter, chopped cherry jam, apricot jam, all the good stuff. Now we're in their farmer's market area. Oh, wow, that's older than workers. Corn. Oh, 50 cents each for sweet corn. I bet this is super sweet corn too. End of the season. 
And they got some lettuce. And of course they got some gourds and squash. Holy Moses, that is, yeah, extra large zucchini. Wow, wow. Those are almost as large as Oliver. They got a few peppers. Good looking peppers. Those are the cayenne peppers. All the different onions. I love the name of this of this squash because it's called a warty wonder. I wonder what you would make with those. Because like these are decorated pumpkins, but I'd also call them pie pumpkins. They're probably not hollow. We all know that we're really here to just drink a bunch of apple cider, but they actually have hot apple cider outside. So I'm excited to go try the hot apple cider. So these are the apple prices. As you can see, there is a minimum purchase required in order to go apple picking. So it's almost like a fee, but we're gonna kind of see how it goes once we get up there and what that entails, okay? So basically it's a $10 fee per person to go in there. So in other places, it's usually done by the pound. Here, it's in a prepaid bag that is uh, a certain amount. So we bought a, a whole pack of apples for $30. So it's however many apples we can kind of get into this bag. Here's the bag. That's a $30 bag right there. Yep. So. <laughs> so basically what they, they say that there is no fee to go pick apples, but you have to come back with a $10 minimum purchase worth of things yep. per person. Here. Down here past the sunflower patch is the apples way off in the distance there. Oh my gracious, look at how tall you are. <laughs> and away he goes. Where he stops, nobody knows. <laughs> Where are you going, Oliver? Go ahead, pull. Pull, 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 pull. Yay! Yay! Hey, baby. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Awesome. Do you want more apples? No. No. <laughs> if you come out here, mostly the middle areas are pretty much full still for picking. So we're doing that right now. We're just having fun. About to test the first apple right here. Find out what these. They are so sweet. And oh my God, you guys. They are, they said they were a cross between a honey crisp and a fuji, which makes them very sweet. They've got the they've got the mouth feel of a honey crisp, yeah. but the sweetness of a fuji. Mm -hmm. So they're crispy and crunchy, but not very gritty. Mm -hmm. And they're extremely juicy. Mm, let me try these out now. They're really good. See, they got a good sound to them too when you bite into them. God damn, they are juicy. They're super juice.
his legs gave out. Not really. He's just pretending they are because he wants to be picked up. Mr. Actor. My actor child. We were noticing as we were going through the uh, apples right now, there's only like five rows of apples worth of picking. Uh, at least there's a ton of apples, don't get me wrong. I mean, there's like a metric ton of apples, but there's suddenly a lot of people around us. So it's a little uncomfortable, but it kind of is what it is right now while we're just picking some apples. Now I gotta try to find a really, 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 really red one. Uh, Cause the, a lot of these are still kind of a little underripe. Like they're worth picking, but like they're still, some of them are green on one side, nice and red on the other. So I gotta find those ones like pink all the way around. Like uh, this guy, this guy's pretty good. We'll continue picking some apples. Where do we put the apples, baby? <laughs> do you want to try it? Okay. No? Don't like it? There they are. Having their moment. Oh, almost had it. Remember, remember what mommy taught you how to twist. Apples. So we're coming to the end of this line of orchard, uh, orchard line, and you can see near the end, of course, most of the apples have either fallen or were dropped, or they're just some are not ripe yet. But it's a long lane. If you turn around, it goes all the way down there, that way. <laughs> but yeah, we've been doing good. Little man helped me, and I helped. The wife helped. She's gonna get her thirty dollars worth of apples but yeah sun's starting to come out starting to get a little warm we've already taken off our jackets <laughs> and hats but yeah we're gonna have fun we're gonna probably head back in a little bit and then maybe grab one or two things from the market and then call it a day who knows So we finished apple picking. We were heading back towards uh, the far market area. Everyone had fun. Oliver picked a lot more than he did last time. I got a couple apples. We did a couple good shots and we're actually happy to try these new apples. So yeah, so far this has been fun. We're gonna go back, see what's up, maybe pick up some stuff in the market and who knows from there. Oliver, Oliver smell. <laughs> He's grown so fast and so big. <laughs> and uh, at the very end of the thing where you would normally buy your bag for your apples, they also have a little, little coffee bar that has hot cider and walking tacos. And uh, they also have hamburgers and hot that dogs. It tastes like elementary school burgers. <laughs> Is it 1993? They're basically just steamed burgers and hot dogs. So little man's got a hot dog over there that he's gonna probably tear into just a little bit. Yep. So we're gonna head into uh, the pre-punk uh, pick pumpkins and all the prices on the pumpkins have been marked. So there's no need to go for individual weighing or anything and everything like that. So you can pick your pumpkin you want and go as well as any just pay up here at the little shack. So we're just gonna take a look, maybe get something, maybe not, we don't know yet. But it's really nice. I like the little structure of a pumpkin house. They got corn stalk straws, bundles, so you can put in front of your house. We get all decorative and then blocks of straw. And everything's mostly priced. It's pretty nice. So these are the ones that need to go to the dermatologist to be looked at. <laughs> but these are nice. These have these nice little warts. They're so different. Yeah. And these ones, which are, this is the giant variety. Yeah. It's so strange. The mid-sized pumpkin ones are all marked between six and eight dollars ish. So all the ones over here are are like just a regular size pumpkin. They're like six to eight bucks. The smaller ones are like four dollars and two dollars for the pie pumpkins and stuff like that. So prices aren't terrible. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of nice that it isn't per pound because that's where it can kind of you can kind of get messed up because some of these are like fifteen pounds. Look, 
What in the world? It looks like a bunch of flags and a bronze version of the Statue of Liberty. Well, we're about a month away from election, so okay. <laughs> so we're right over here by Billy's Beef Hot Dogs and more. So you get yourself a hot dog, a grilled chicken sandwich, hamburgers, pulled pork, barbecue, cup of chili, hot cider. And over there, you get some cheese curds. We might be getting some cheese curds. Thanks, yeah, dude. So we'll see what we get, and we'll show you guys in a bit. So we got the small order of Wisconsin style cheese curds with some ranch dressing. And then we got fresh squeezed lemonade. So these are fresh out of fryer. So yeah, so be careful, mommy. Let's see, a little ranch. On point. Whew. So we kind of had to run out of there because it started to rain. I don't know if you can see the window over here, but holy Moses, it's a raining. Yep. Uh, so it looks like we ended our day at the perfect time. I actually don't know what time it is. I think it's like 1130. I don't know. Probably somewhere around there. No. So it's like about 130 and we been here since about 1030. And so we've been here about three hours, I guess. Yeah, just about three hours. And it has been really great. It got nice and warm in the sun and then the clouds kind of moved in. So it got a little, little chilly at the very end, but then just suddenly rain. Yeah, so we're in the car. Normally we would be doing this out with the Stades Farm uh, logo behind us and yeah. saying, you know, thanks for watching and everything, but it started pouring. So, yeah, so in the uh, car we are. Change of venue. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, we really like this place. I don't know if I would put this on the list of someplace I want to go to next year. The the farm attractions, like the farm attractions thing, looks interesting. I'd like to check that out possibly next year. But uh, for like how the pricing is and how far away it is from our home, um, I don't know if it's something I'm interested in coming back to. No, it's something to try because, you know, like I said, previously, last week she went to Country Line Orchard and they were Clean. Yeah, County Lane Orchard in Hobart was picked absolutely clean. I I got like I don't know, 20 apples and I normally come back with like hundreds. So I have to make multiple trips from the car to the house. <laughs> Usually, yeah. Uh, so it, it isn't it was nice that there was apples for us to pick. I've never tried this varietal before. Mm -hmm. The Rosalie apple is what we got. So it was really interesting to try something new. Overall, everything was good. They had like these little small stands for food. We got cheese curds. We got hot dog for little man. Uh, steam cafeteria style cheeseburger for myself. The cheeseburger was pretty gross, um, but did definitely remind us the, of school. The fresh squeezed lemonade here is actually outstanding. Oh yeah. Um, it was good. It was just, um, I, well, someone back there drank most of it. Um, <laughs> but uh, besides that, it was good. There's other stuff there. They got they do fresh kettle corn. They do. Um, they got pulled pork and all that stuff there, but it's nice. It was it was enjoyable. We did not do the pumpkin patch uh, all the way out there in their patch area. We went to the select areas. They did they did have a free tractor ride out to the pumpkin patch, but we, they had so many pumpkins like right here that we just didn't feel like going out. And I'm actually happy happy that we didn't because otherwise we'd be stuck in this rain. On the tractor coming back. Yeah. <laughs> to uh, a soaked wagon, probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, um, nah. so we're all packed up. We're going to take our time going home. There's no rush. Yep. Uh, maybe stop at a grocery store, too. Or um... We're also on the hunt for a couple of new items that we'll be showing you guys at some point in the future. Yeah. Uh, Stay tuned to our Instagram for those little small hints. Yeah. Uh, so we are, we're just kind of going to make our way up. But for our adventure now for Stades Farm Market, it was pretty good. Not bad. I'd probably give it like a 7 out of 10, maybe an 8 out of 10, because it was enjoyable. I picked this one. Yeah, he <laughs> actually got to pick this thing. Yeah. So, uh, he he picked, uh, he's the one who picked this location. So, there are other locations we're going to check out eventually, yeah. but we got time for that. Uh, oh, and one last note. Um, no, I don't really have a last note, so I, was in, I don't know what I was going to say. Well, this place is very family friendly, yes. of you guys want to know. They're, do, they're doing pretty safe. They are going real good and real hard on the safety, which is super great. Also, they do they make sure they don't overload their store, their uh, their market area. Yeah. They um, 
everyone keeps mostly social distance when they we were picking. Everybody was wearing masks. Everyone was wearing masks. Um, minus any kid below, you know, two years. But oh, besides yeah. that, besides that, there's so much to do here. On top of apple picking, you can do raspberries, squash, tomato, pumpkin, tons of produce, green beans, zucchinis, yeah. jumbo zucchinis, <laughs> tons um, of stuff. Tons of stuff. So it's a variety. It's just not apples here. Yeah, we we enjoyed ourselves. Mm. Definitely. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed what you guys saw. And yep. if you like it, please feel free to comment. Tell us where to go. If you know of a good place to go to, yeah. hit a comment down below. See, Tell us where to go and what to do. Yeah. And we'll check it out. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share us. <laughs> the usual. Yeah. Okay. So uh, with that being said, we are off. And we will see you guys on our, our next, next adventure. adventure. Bye. Bye.